Hello everybody, I have exciting-ish news, um, <laughs> sort of exciting but not going to change your life. The mapping website that we would like you to use for your coursework is back up and running, not because it was down but because we needed to pay the subscription to be able to get access and we have. So. Whether you are on a college computer or through remote desktop or through Office 365, however you access the college internet, intranet, is that what it's called? Anyway, you need to get onto the LC homepage and you need to find this link, Digimap, over on the left-hand side. All of the instructions for registering, etc., are there. And as long as you use your college uh, username and password, you will get free access. So if you could go through that process, please. I obviously have registered, so you can see I'm all logged in. You will want access, please, to the Ordnance Survey, and one of the steps that you'll have to go through is you will have to accept their, um, I think they're called license agreements, their rules anyway, um, so just go through that. But once you're in, you want Ordnance Survey and you want Rome. And then you can search for places. So I will search for Taunton. And as you would expect with maps, you can zoom in and you can zoom out. Now I would suggest that the first map that you include in your context looks something like that. Because what you have to do in your context is you have to give the reader a sense of where your data was collected and you have to imagine that they have never been to or heard of this place. So I would suggest that a map of the southwest is probably a really good starting point. I'm not going to talk you through every feature of this but look there is a print facility you could, of course, print screen this if you wanted to um, so that you could paste it into your Word document, whatever it is you need to do. Please, can I just say one thing? You need to keep that scale down in the bottom right-hand corner because in your geography coursework, well, to be fair, any map that you use should have a scale on it. So when you crop, just don't crop out that. And, of course you are going to have to reference this, all right? So from uh, Digimap, Adina, etc. Okay, but I just wanna show you a couple of other features. So you can zoom and zoom and zoom and zoom to whatever is appropriate for you. So you see you can get individual buildings look. You can get more detail than I suspect you ever wanted size of people's gardens. Uh, where are we now? Oh, we're in French, we're in long run. There's castle. So look, you can really zoom in, you can really zoom out, um, you can do all sorts of things. Let's take us to Hewish. There we go. So some of the things that you can do, you can measure on it. So let's say I wanted to measure, oh, I don't know, the size of King's College playing field. So you double click to finish. Um, if I wanted to, let's say, so if you single click, it will change direction. So you can actually do like a little route, double click to finish. So you can measure things, which is quite nice. Uh, you can draw, so you could add markers for exact data measurement locations. Remember we've said on your map, for your method, we want you to put um, a map in with the exact places that you measured your data. Well, you can do that really nice and easily. You can draw transects, you can draw areas, I've just made a really crazy pattern, haven't I really? You can do so many different things um, on here. I am probably uh, not even using half of the, the things that it is capable of doing um, because this is about the extent of how much I've played around with it. Again, you've got the scale down here, but essentially 
for your context, for your method. You could even use Digimap, potentially, I guess, to um, present some of your data. So you could do some located proportional symbols on it. Uh, you could add an image at a selected position. You could really get quite carried away with it. So please use Digimap maps in your coursework as opposed to anything that you get from Google. These are much better quality and it is what they will be expecting you to be using. Um, any problems with it, then I might know the answer. I quite possibly won't, <laughs> but have a play with it. And remember, it's got, look, it's got a saving uh, facility, it's got a print facility. You could print screen it and, co and uh, copy and paste it into a Word document and all sorts of things. Okay, so that is Digimap, ladies and gents.